When I play my local home game, which is like a million miles away from the stakes you're at, they always start with a tournament because there's a lot of people who don't want to play cash games. And everybody in the tournament just wants to bust as quickly as they can so they can get in a cash game, right? <laughs> What's it like when you get to your level? Are you think you're, like you're missing out when you're playing in tournaments or do you really look forward to it? I have always loved tournaments. Um, there's been plenty of times where cash games might have been more fun or a better idea to play, but there's something about the feeling of going deep in a tournament when you start collecting more and more chips that's just uh, extremely fun. And the competition in some ways can be more serious in a tournament, but uh, I find that fun and a good change of pace from cash games, uh, which I also like. When you was a kid, how important was glory and fame to you? Oh, um... Because that's what tournament poker is about, really, isn't it? You know, mm. it's a part of it, anyway. Maybe. That's not particularly what motivates me. I mean, of course I want to win. It's more the competition element um, mm. that motivates me. Uh, so it's not about achieving some sort of glory. It's certainly not about achieving some sort of fame. Um, I'm not looking for that. But um, I really want to just play a game and play it well and beat the other people and when it's my day, uh, maybe I'll win something. <laughs> I was interviewing Rob Young at the beginning uh, of the week and Rob's from the UK, same as me, and we were talking about how when we grew up in the UK, everybody wanted to be a millionaire. You know, there used to be this comedy show called Only Fools and Horses and Del Boy you say one day we'll be millionaires, you know? So we always grew up with that kind of like, that that hunger or that desire to break out of the working class and to have that fame and that money and that glory. What was it like for you growing up? It's in Canada, right? Yeah, I grew up in Toronto. Um, I wanted to be successful, of course, um, but I don't know that I've ever been particularly motivated to chase money. I, I'm more interested in figuring out the way things work, I guess, um, <clears throat> and just competing, I suppose. Expand upon that a little bit, because it, it, that, that was something that Tom Dwan was talking about yesterday, you know, figuring out how things work. Can you just expand upon that a little bit? Well, when you're young, I mean, if you want to talk about um, me growing up, I mean, um, I think every kid and myself, certainly, I was just hungry to understand the world. Um, there'd constantly be things that came up that I thought worked one way, but it turned out work another way. You find out there's no Santa Claus or something. I know, and, that's uh, a fucking you know. one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was really interested in how much pe money people made at their jobs, or what they actually did at these jobs, what went on. It just seemed like a big mystery where all the parents went and stuff like that. So I don't know, I just... Uh, I was more motivated by curiosity, I would say, than um, the, uh, financial gain. What was it like in school then? Because in, in South Wales, where I grew up, it was very, very polarised. You, you was either a, a cool kid or a nerd, and if you was a nerd, you got battered. If you was a cool kid, you got all the girls. What, what was it like in your school? Um, well, I went to an all-boys school, so the girls thing was more of a weekend or dances sort of thing, and there wasn't a lot of day-to-day uh, -day concern about that, I guess. Um, I didn't get beat up at school or anything like that. I had co conflicts with people at times. Um, I also played a lot of sports and ran track when I was younger and played a lot of hockey. Um, but I wouldn't say that I was a jock necessarily. Um, I, I don't think there was such distinct lines uh, in my school. They did a pretty good job of um, teaching well-roundedness, I guess you could say. Did you enjoy it? Uh, school? I don't know. I I always wanted to be retired. I thought school <laughs> school's a rough grind. Uh, I'm not I'm not a morning person. I never was, even when I was very young. Uh -huh. I would love to stay up late listening to the radio. Getting up early and getting to school every single day was very difficult, and uh, I was happy to be done with it. 